Hi, this is Jose Della Portilla, technical trainer with Lennox HVAC Learning Solutions. I want to talk to you a little bit about refrigerant safety and how critical it is that you pay the utmost care, you take the utmost care when you're working on any system that has refrigerant in it. What we're doing here is taking a rare look inside the evaporator of an air conditioning system. You can see as we come through the refrigerant system here, we start with liquid refrigerant in the evaporator. We're absorbing heat from the space around it, and you can actually see the refrigerant starts to boil and change state from a liquid to a vapor. As it's doing that, it's absorbing the heat from the home. That's not really what we're going to focus on. What I want to talk to you about is this boiling process of the refrigerant. The temperature that refrigerant boils at changes with the pressure that the refrigerant is exposed to. So, when you're taking your gauges on or off the system, when you're putting your torch near a system, anything that you might be near open sources of refrigerant, remember, the second that R22 refrigerant hits the atmosphere, it starts boiling at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If your hand's in front of that refrigerant and it gets you, it's gonna strip the skin, the muscles, the tissue, and even the nerve endings right off of your hands. R410A, if it hits atmospheric pressure, boils somewhere closer to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is gonna burn you even worse. So take care. Make sure you're using low loss fittings on your hoses. You're wearing refrigerant gloves when you're working on systems. You're taking care not to get this stuff on you. It's gonna burn. The other thing you wanna be careful of is if you're working in a mechanical room and it doesn't have a lot of ventilation and that refrigerant charge blows, that refrigerant escapes to the mechanical room around you, get out as soon as possible. Refrigerant is heavier than air and it will displace the oxygen in the room and in a short amount of time, you can lose the oxygen in your body. So be careful, be safe when you work with refrigerants. They're amazing what they can do, but they're also amazing on what harm they can do if we lose care or if we become quick moving or we lose our focus on detail when working with refrigerants. Thank you.